Hello everybody and welcome back to Mooty Plays Pokemon Sapphire version 2. Today we are going to start off fighting some trainers I missed in exploring the various areas. The first time around, because I would like to get my Pokemon to level 30 without having to grind in the wild. And we start off with a beauty that has a Meryl, but... Uh, thankfully, Melissa gets a critical hit before the rollout can get too out of hand. And now we move on to... What was the route number? The route just after Fall Arbor Town, but before Meteor Falls. To battle a fisherman who has a barboach which is a water ground type, weak to grass type attacks, and that is about it. And something about mud sport and water sport, it, it just kind of drives me nuts how it seems like only ground types can learn mud sport. But... which reduces the effectiveness of electric attacks. But ground types are already immune to electric attacks. So it just kinda feels weird that that move seems to exist. And... Though it does have a use in double battles, I suppose. Um, Covering your ally in the mud to uh, uh, weaken the electric attack. And then there's water sport. While water types aren't exactly immune to fire types, they are already resistant to the fire type attacks. So again, it just kind of feels weird that only water types seem to be able to learn water sport. Though, uh, in Gen 4 and beyond, Badoo can learn water sp sport. And, uh, they tend to, uh, actually be weak to fire type attacks, so I find that actually makes sense. So, huzzah for Badoo! And now we move over to, uh, these twins. That have a Roselia and a Gardevoir. Not Gardevoir, a uh, Graveler. Graveler is the evolved form of Geodude and shares its rock ground typing, so the weaknesses are the same. As you can see, Bruce Lee easily stomps him, even though, uh, with his fighting attack, even though the fire type would make him weak to the rock and ground. And now those two are out of the way. And this guy shall send out a... Say it true. Your ground, uh, weak to water, grass, ice. I forget if I've done tree, same true. But, uh, Nene is able to, uh, get around this thing easily, especially since she is part flying and therefore immune to the ground type. And then he sends out a nuts leaf and. Huzzah for speed boost, with the silver wind. Yay! And, uh, for those wondering, my eye is doing better. It... It just feels kind of sleepy right now, <laughs> instead of being so bad that I felt like I had to mess with it when I recorded the last part.
all of the interrupting random battles. And this guy. Hmm, what does he? What does he have? I can't remember. Aaron. Okay, a uh, cute little thingy. Uh, double kick because it was double weak. To the double kick. And Bruce Lee is at level 30! Yay! And... Now we go... Looking for some items as soon as we can stop being annoyed by random battles. And... Use Rock Smash over here. To get this thing, a protein. And now we move on to Flannery's gym to actually fight Flannery. <laughs> she specializes in fire types, having two Slugma and a Torkoal in this version. Now, the Slugma are easy enough to take care of because they're just adorable little slugs that, uh, barely do anything. It does have light screen, which will, um, weaken the effect of special moves, which water type is special. So, uh, if you do have a water type and are using it around now, uh, do try to kill it quickly before it can use light screen. And one thing I was a bit annoyed with. I thought that um its health would go low enough to make her want to use a hyper potion again. But no, she lets me kill the thing. Which comes back to bite me in the ass because Torkoal, very physically defensive. I only did that much damage with the first kick because of a critical hit. So as you can see, it's going to take a while to whittle down her health. And that thing has tricked, so uh... Be careful if you have male Pokemon, uh, against it. But luckily I was able to get in another hit. But now! Oh, Flail, that attack does more damage the less HP it has. So I just... Uh, you should have seen me swearing when it did that. And would you use that hyper potion right there? Because seriously, it was so close to beating her. But then the hyper potion hit her. And while I do have luck with putting it to sleep, I do not have the same luck keeping it asleep. <sighs> so it is going to wake up and kick my ass. And I'm going to be mad. And all rar face. Oh look, he she killed my speed. Lovely. Overheat does an insane amount of damage, but it lowers special attack by two stages. So it might be good as like a last ditch a last ditch effort attack. But don't try to rely on it too much unless you actually have a uh, a berry or something that negates stat changes. And there goes Nene. So now we have to depend on Dish. Which, with a severe difference in level. 
Hi, Mom. Not gonna happen. Uh, let's see. Alrighty. Just a friendly little reminder to do stuff set around the house. And as you can see, we f I failed at taking down Flannery. And... Now I am battling more trainers to uh, level up my Pokemon. This guy starts out with a Slugma, and he and is not as good as the gym leader, as the gym Slugma, so yay! And then a Wingle, which is easy peasy because I am like almost double the level at this point. And we've now we fight this uh, hiker. And I believe he has three Geodude, if not at least two. This first one I'm gonna astonish to death. But, uh. Afterwards, I'm gonna pull the old switcheroo, because I do believe that I, uh, ended up getting hurt a bit. Yes, I did. Rock throw. Yes. Hurts very much on a flying type. And... Defense curl raises defense, so very, very annoying when you're depending on a weak physical attack. Hit the run button. <laughs> Switching to Bruce Lee. And we shall double kick it to death. And I need to stop fiddling with this thing that makes noise when I fiddle with it. Final Geodude, so one last switcheroo. And back to Bruce Lee. And double kick its face in. Yay! And now that hiker is done. And we go over to fight this hiker, which amazingly has no rock types. Only a machop. So I did not have to pull Z. Oh wait. Was it? Well, hmm. What was that second Pokemon? Get to death. And... Oh, too much up. Okay. Still, easy time. All of the ownage. Because flying types are better than fighting. Yay! And down goes the machop. And south, and if you go through Meteor Falls all the way uh, southward, you will eventually find this place with this trainer who has a level 19 Metatype. And stupid detect spam. Rar. And 
That one's down. And next is a Makuhita. And now she's done. And we run over here to fight this black belt. And another Machap! Yay! Melissa can easily slay him. Wow, they like always use focus energy, huh? Now it's done. Though, uh, focus energy does raise the chance of getting a critical, so that's probably why they're using it so much. And now we fight this collector. Who... I believe his Pokémon actually depends on what version you have. I have Sapphire version, so he sends out a Zangoose, which is... the... Uh, which is actually a Ruby exclusive, I believe. Well, Sapphire has Seviper as its exclusive. And Melissa leveled up. Yay! Erasing Fury Attack for takedown, though now I'm kind of wishing that I erased Astonish for takedown instead. But, eh. We'll see. And Hector has been defeated. So now we shall rearrange some Pokemon. And we shall <laughs> scan the route for some items. And that will be it for this part. I will see you next time on Muji Plays Pokemon Sapphire version, where I will attempt to defeat Flannery again. Hopefully it won't take too long, because I'd really like to get Surf sometime soon, and that will involve me getting to the 5th gym. See you then!